Okay, so in today's class, we are going to discuss angle of elevation and angle of depression. Now, it's an it's one of the application of trigonometry. Consider this height of a building. Consider this height as the height of a building. That's the top of the building, and that's the horizontal ground. If you are standing at this point, some distance away from the foot of the ground. and you try to look at the top of the building the angle that your line of sight is going to be making with the horizontal line on the ground that angle is known as the angle of elevation so when a person looks at something above his or her location example at the top of the building the angle formed between the horizontal ground and the line of sight is called the angle of elevation now this gives us the right angle triangle if you are standing some distance away from the uh, foot of the building then this is your adjacent side of a right angle triangle this is your opposite side and this line is going to be your hypotenuse so all of the trig ratios can be applied over here this is angle of elevation then if a person is standing at the top of the building and he sees a car on the ground that car then the angle that he is making with this horizontal this imaginative line horizontal imaginative line to view the car that angle is known as the angle of depression because he is at the top of the building and he is seeing the car and making the line of his line of sight the angle that is line of sight is making with this horizontal is the angle of depression most students confuse angle of depression and mark it wrong they mark it over here this is not the angle of depression angle of depression is going to be the angle between the line of sight and the imaginative horizontal line okay so again you are going to get a right angle triangle now now you must feel that this angle is outside the right angle triangle how is going how is this angle going to help you in finding the unknown of a right angle triangle well you can see that you get an alternate angle meaning this angle of depression is equal in value with the angle of elevation over here so if this angle was 30 degree so you can see say that the person at the top of a building has an angle of depression of 30 degree when he views the car but if the car is at this point the person in the car if he is looking at this person is also making the same angle of 30 degree but he is looking up this angle of depression is equal to the angle of elevation over here So when a person looks at something below his or her location, the angle between the imaginative horizontal and the line of sight is known as the angle of depression. Are we clear on these two things? Yes, sir. In this question, a police helicopter was chasing a stolen car. the sighted angle of depression is 70 degree how far is the helicopter from the car given that the helicopter is 1000 meter above the ground so if i can if i consider this as my ground how high is the helicopter above the ground how high is 1000 meters 1000 meters and the angle of depression is 70 degree so if i want to locate the car the car is at an angle of angle of depression is 70 degree so i'll make a imaginative horizontal line and from there i'm going to 
mark this line and i'm going to say that this is my angle of depression that is 70 degrees the question is asking you how far is the helicopter from the car so which distance do they want from us which distance do they want from us how far is the helicopter from the car so we want to find this distance if i name this distance x so any idea how to find the distance x now consider this to be a right angle triangle okay if this is a right angle triangle having okay now which angle are you interested in using which angle should we take into consideration 90 degree angle 90 degree to theek hai lekin jo trigonometric ratio apply karne ke liye kaun sa angle loge 70 70 is the angle of depression i want the angle inside the triangle how can i get that see if this angle is 70 then this angle is going to be 90 minus 70 you can write this angle as 20 degree or you could also take this as 70 if this angle is 70 then this angle is also going to be 70 degree it's up to you whichever angle you take but this triangle is easily solvable now which if i am taking let's say 20 degree which trigonometric ratio should i be using to find this length x what would you name this side ye base hai perpendicular hai hypotenuse hai kya hai ye if i am considering 20 degree as my angle can you hear me perpendicular agar ye angle hai theek hai and it has also 90 degree then this hmm. side is going to be named as the adjacent side ya okay. of base theek hai ya base keh lo ya adjacent keh lo baat ek hi hai if you are considering 20 degree if you are considering 20 degree as the angle to so, ye adjacent side hai and ye hypotenuse side hai which trigonometric ratio would you be using for base and hypotenuse kaun sa trig ratio hai jo base aur cos cos so If I am taking 20 degree as my angle, then cos of 20 is 1000 meter divided by x. So x comes out to be 1000 divided by cos 20 degree. What is the value? मुझे आंसर लिखना है आपको अपना फाइनल आंसर थ्री सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स में लिखना होगा अदरवाइज Okay, so now we know the distance of the helicopter from the trolling car. The second part says find also the distance from the trolling car to the point directly below the helicopter. 
find also the distance from the stolen car to a point directly below the helicopter the point that is below the helicopter is this point and i want to find the distance of the stolen car from the from this point so let me take this distance as y now if it's your wish if we are continuing with taking 20 degree angle with respect to this angle what am i going to call this side kya ye side perpendicular hogi ya base hogi अगर ये 20 डिग्री है तो उसके ऑपोजिट साइड को हम परपेंडिकुलर कहेंगे या परपेंडिकुलर परपेंडिकुलर सो तो वो कौन सा ट्रिक रेशो है जो परपेंडिकुलर और बेस यानी कि एडजेसेंट साइड में डील करता है tan tan तो देयरफॉर tan ऑफ 20 डिग्री मस्ट बी इक्वल टू y अपॉन 1000 सो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ y कमिंग आउट Three sixty three point nine. Three sixty three point nine meters. So in three significant figures, it is going to be three sixty four meters. So I can say that the stolen car is three sixty four meter away from the point directly below the helicopter. All right. So let's look at this question. The diagram shows a vertical wind turbine with a blade 30 meter long. The blades are stationary with, a, with the point A being the maximum distance possible from the horizontal ground. The point B is such that the angle of elevation of A from B is 34. So the angle of elevation of A from B is 34. And the angle of elevation of the center of the blade C from B is 25. So would you agree that this angle is 25? Is the last statement correct? And is it understandable? The point B is such that the angle of elevation of A from B was 34. And the point C is such that the angle of elevation from B is 25. Yes. Okay. What else do we know? We, we need to calculate the distance AB. Okay, any suggestions? How would you go about this question? What, what other information do you have on this question? You know that this is a right angle triangle, okay? If you know this is 90 and you know this is 25, can you work out this angle as well? Yes. So you are going to get this angle as 90 plus 25, 180 minus the you are going to get 65. If this angle is 65, what is this angle going to be? See, this is a straight line, okay? So what is this angle going to be? So we will minus 180. 180 minus. So this angle ACB is going to come out as 180 minus 65 that is 115 degrees. Okay. Yes. So ये हमारा एंगल 165 है। Now try to 
consider this triangle triangle acb in this triangle i know this angle acb that is 115 can i also find this angle what is this angle going to be abc what is abc going to be if this angle is 34 this angle is 25 This would be the difference between the two angles. Thirty-four minus twenty-five. Thirty-four minus twenty-five. That is nine. Okay, so I I have a triangle in which I know two angles at one side. This is A. This is C. This is B. This angle is hundred and fifteen. This angle is nine. And this length is thirty meter. The question is asking me to find the length of AB. Which rule comes to your mind? Which rule? Which rule can you think of that is going to help you get the length of AB? कोसाइन रूल कोसाइन रूल यहां पे अप्लाई नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज़ कोसाइन रूल जब आप अप्लाई करते थे व्हेन यू हैव टू साइड्स एंड एन इंक्लूसिव एंगल और थर्ड साइड निकालनी हो या फिर तीन साइड गिवन और एक एंगल निकालना यहां पे आपके पास दीस आर द टू एंगल एंड दिस इज द साइड ऑपोजिट टू दिस एंगल सो इट्स बेटर टू यूज साइन रूल यस And how am I going to use sine rule? Sine of nine degrees upon thirty is equal to sine of one hundred and fifteen degrees upon AB. You can just cross multiply and find the value of AB. So thirty times sine of one hundred and fifteen divided by sine of nine degrees is going to be. I'm getting 173.8. In exam, please make sure that you write the answer in the space provided. Okay? You need to write down the final answer in the space provided. अगर आपने यहाँ लिख दिया यहाँ नहीं लिखा, that's not a good way of answering your question. Follow the instructions very carefully. i'm getting the same answer okay good let's move on to the next part a different wind turbine shown in the diagram b on the next page as the center of its blade f okay let me show you the second i'm going to copy this diagram on the first page for your reference सर आपकी आवाज लैग कर रही थी बीच में ओके इज माय वॉइस क्लियर नाउ यस अभी लैग कर रही है या अभी सही है नहीं अभी सही है सर ओके नाउ अ डिफरेंट विंड टरबाइन शोन इन द डायग्राम हैज द सेंटर ऑफ इट्स ब्लेड एफ 75 meter from the base of the turbine this is the base of the turbine b point e is on the sloping ground yahan pe 180 meter from f and 130 meter from b you are asked to calculate the angle of depression of e from f you need to calculate the angle of depression of e from f so we have done this question just now what we are going to do is we are going to find the angle of depression angle of depression 
is always going to be from the horizontal imaginative line would you agree that this is going to be the angle of depression of e from x kya ye sahi hai yes naval all right so we were talking about this shape in which we were asked to find the angle of depression of e from f so have i marked the angle of depression correct as per you yes now if i want to calculate this angle and use these dimensions shouldn't i say that the angle sh should be inside the triangle so if that's my angle of depression we did discuss this that it is going to be equal to the angle of elevation inside the triangle yes okay so if i'm able to calculate this angle i'll get the angle of depression that's what the strategy is so calculate the angle of depression angle of depression is just going to be the equal to the angle of elevation from e to f to find the angle of elevation you have three sides acha one more thing would you consider this to be a right angle triangle yes how do you know what sir how do you know it's a right angle triangle see the dimensions given to us if they do confirm to the right angle triangle dimensions then it's only a right angle triangle right now we can't say that triangle fde is going to be a right angle triangle and agar jaldi confirm karna hai to ye is tarike se kar lo kya 180 square is equal to 75 square plus 130 square is that the case so 75 square plus 130 square square root ki value kya is it coming out to be equal to 180 square can you hear me yes now is are, if it would have been a right angle triangle then hypotenuse square must have been equal to this opposite square plus adjacent square but you will see that it's not the case hence it's not a right angle triangle if it's not a right angle triangle then to find this angle it's a normal triangle it's a triangle other than a right angle triangle and you have been given three dimensions and if you want to find this angle you can just apply cosine rule cosine rule is applied in two cases one is when the when you have three sides and you want to find the angle such as in this case or if two sides and an inclusive angle is given so if i apply cosine rule then 75 square because that is the side opposite to this angle which i want to find is going to be equal to 130 square plus 180 square minus 2 times 130 times 180 cos of cosine of theta we are interested in finding this theta okay so i want you to solve this and and solve for theta So in this part, we were asked to find the angle of depression of point F from E, which is this angle. Now, since E is on the sloping edge, I cannot say that this value is going to be equal to this value. Alternate angles are not formed. Now, your strategy should be that you find the angle of angle of this triangle, and then you can find the angle of this triangle. Now, your strategy should be that you find the angle of angle of this How am I going to find this angle in the triangle? Again, I'm going to use cosine rule. 
in such a way that this is this 130 square is going to be equal to 75 square plus 180 square minus 2 times 75 times 180 cosine of angle F. Let's solve this and find cosine of angle F. Seventy five square plus one eighty square minus one thirty square divided by two times seventy five times one eighty. And if you take the cos inverse of this value, which is one sixty nine upon two hundred sixteen, just go solve karne ke baad aayi. The cos inverse of this value it comes out to be thirty eight point five five one eight. Let me know if you have reached till here. Yes, sir. I got the same answer. Okay, so this is angle F. To find the angle of depression, I can subtract this answer from 90. 51.5. 51.5. This should be your answer. Yes. Okay. Can I move on to the next part? Yes. The question says P is a point on the blade which is furthest from the center of the blades. Each blade is 30 meter long. <coughs> so P is a P is basically a point that is furthest from the blade furthest from the center of the plate. And the point is on the blade. So if I zoom in, you can say that this is point P since it is furthest from the plate. Each blade as given in the question is 30 meter long. You need to calculate the distance traveled by P as the blade completes one revolution. So if this blade, okay, I know that point P is over here. If this blade completes one revolution, would you agree that it is going to form us, it is going to travel in this circle, circular motion, and the point P is after 360 degrees, it's gonna come at back to its own position. Tab ja ke ek revolution complete hoga. Yes. <coughs> okay, so can I also say that point P has traveled this distance? Yes. Point P was actually 30 meter from the center of the blade that is F. So you see, you can see that there is a circle and this shaded path is the circumference of a circle with a radius of 30. If, if the question says calculate the distance traveled by P, basically you need to calculate the uh, circumference of the circle. And what is the circumference of a circle equal to? 2 pi r. Okay. So your answer should be 188.5 meter. Yes, 188.5. Okay, now this is 188.5 meter. If I round it up to one significant figures, I'm going to round it at two. One, uh, if I round it up to three significant figures, I'm going to round it up to 189. Is it clear? Yes. Then the blade completes 15 revolutions per minute. Calculate the speed of P, giving your answers in kilometer per hour. If it is covering 15 revolutions in a minute, and in one revolution, it's covering 189 meter. We need to calculate the speed. 
in kilometer per hour. So let's first find that how much distance has it covered in 15 revolutions, okay? In one revolution, it has covered 189 meter and it has gone for 15 revolutions. So this is the total distance covered in 15 revolutions, right? This is 2835 meter. Now all of this yes. distance was covered in one minute. So speed is distance upon time. We have covered 2835 meter in one minute. Now one minute is how many hours? So if I want to convert minute into hours, I'm going to divide the time by 60. And if I want to convert the meter, the distance in meter to kilometers, I'm going to divide the distance by 1000. So if you do this, what do you get? One seventy point one. Right. So one seventy point one. So one seventy point one kilometer per hour. The speed say it was shot. Okay. Let's try the next part. A point Q lies on a straight line between P and the center of the plate. The point Q is lying on this straight line between P and the center of the blade somewhere. Yeah, pe, kahin pe, hai? Q travels 90 meter as the blade completes one revolution. So when the blade completes one revolution, it travels 90 meter. We need to calculate the distance PQ. So we should know where Q is lying. So if, if the question says that the point Q is traveling 90 meter. Let me draw the blade for you again. This was point P, this was point F. I don't know yet where point Q is, but if let's say this is point Q and it covers this distance, this is the circumference, okay? The circumference is given to you as 90 pi. So you can apply this, circumference is 90. You can find the radius of point Q from the center, okay? Okay, so to find the radius, we're going to divide 90 by two pi. 14.32. 14.32. Okay, now this distance is measured from the center to point Q. To find the distance PQ, I know that the length of the blade was 30 meter. So I'm going to subtract 30 meter, may say 14.32 meter. 15.68. 15.67, right. 6.7. 6.7, so 15.7 meter. Make sense? Yes. Anything that you would like to ask in this question? No, sir. 